Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. Here's what we're going to talk about today. All right, we're going to talk about the perks. There are perks. Yes, right? there is. We're going to talk about the perks of buying a home this fall. We are in the fall season. It is a. It started this weekend, right? Yes, on Saturday, yeah. man. It is officially fall. So we're going to talk to you today about the perks of buying a home this fall. Now, let's let's put some things out on the table here that we all know. There's a perk to buying a home anytime, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But it happens to be fall, so we're going to tailor make this just for what to this time of the year that we're in, because we're going to talk about buying a home this fall. We've gave you lots of information over the last year, over the last ninety five episodes. Good things to do, bad things to watch out for, things that you should do, things that you shouldn't do. So we're going to give you those reasons today why this fall. It's going to be a really good time for you to purchase a home. And we're right. going to give you those perks. There are four of them. So, without talking too much and getting too wild here, let's get going. Here are some perks to buying a home this fall. You want me to start or you want to start? Yeah, I'd like when you start. All right, here we go. I'd like to be number two. Here's number one. Here's number one. There are tax breaks. Listen to this. That you receive right. when you purchase a home. Yes. Now... That means if you purchase a home <coughs> this fall, you are going to be able to enjoy the tax benefits that there is to owning a home. So maybe you're renting now. Maybe you're doing some kind of different type of financing. The home's not yours. Someone else is going to enjoy those tax benefits, oh, yeah, those tax yeah. breaks. Yeah. Now, here's what I knew when I was looking at this that may be a question. You may be sitting out there thinking, what are those tax? What specifically right. are those benefits? Here's what we always say. <laughs> We're not a tax professional. We are a lot of things. We are a lot of things, but a tax professional... We are not. ...is not one of them. We're not a CPA... We're not an attorney. We're not a lawyer. We're not a, a lender. We're not. We're not capable right. of giving you legal advice. Yes. If you want to know all of the perks, and there are many, that's what I'm going to put this as. I'm going to classify it into one term and tell you there are many. There are many tax benefits. You need to consult with your tax advisor and they will be able to tell you because for some people it's different. There are across the board, mm -hmm. but depending on what you do to your home and when you do it, right. and what type of upgrades, maybe windows, Window, insulations, those kind of things yeah. can give you different types of tax benefits and tax breaks that are available out there to you because you are now a homeowner. Right. All right? right. That could also potentially, there could be taxes that are deductible, insurance. There's interest. a lot of things. Insurance, interest, all of those things. There's a lot of stuff that's there. For us to get into a list and try to ta and try to break the tax code, we would really show our smarts. <laughs> yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're not trying to impress you today. <coughs> no, we're no. just going to tell you there are many tax benefits to you being a homeowner. And you will be able, if you become a homeowner between now and the end of the year, you will be able to enjoy some of those tax benefits. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. So why is the fall? What's a benefit? What's a perk? Of buying the home this fall, you're going to tax. get to receive those tax benefits, those tax perks, those tax breaks for the entire year, yes. even though you may be only a home the home for just a little bit. Right. You're going to be able to deduct some things that may have been happened over the last year. Got anything to add to that one? Not at all, because I'm not a tax professional. Me neither, man. Me neither. <laughs> so go ahead. What do you got? Right, number two? two is, is if you know anybody or if you have tried to buy a home this summer, spring, summer, right? you know that we have been, and you, you've listened to the show. You've watched the show. You yeah. know this. Multiple offers is now a common thing. Very common. So when you list your house, you expect to get multiple Why offers. Why is it very common? Well, because inventory shortage. Sure. Right. So, and, and we got a ton of people looking. A ton of people in the market. So we got a lot of people looking, That's a lot exactly of houses. Right. So we've had to do, a, we've had a lot, a lot, a lot of multiple offer situations. Right. The good thing about buying in the fall is I always say the serious people's buying houses in the 100%. fall. 100%. Yeah. Okay, because they still need to make that move. A lot of people move in the summer, kids out of school, blah, right. blah, blah. They're looking to move. It's a good time, so you're kind of flooded. Right. The serious people are really looking in the fall. Absolutely. So you're going to be able to dodge some of that 
multiple offer situation. Not going to say it's still not going to oh, happen. No, no, I'm not either. But the chances of it probably go down. So. Right. Just for the simple fact of there's usually, there's typically mm-hmm. not as many people looking in the fall. Right. As there is what we say the summer and the spring months. Yes. So you can say what's benefits of that is, right. I mean, one, you're yeah. missing You might not get into offer. bidding wars. Right. Because if you get into those, sometimes... Yeah. I mean, we've seen houses sell above. I was going to say, we, we price. have told you on the show, we've seen them sell for It's thousands. almost like we've been in an auction. Thousands yes. above the asking yes. price. Yes. So yeah. you couldn't possibly be able to save mm-hmm. yourself some money right. and uh, avoid those bidding wars. Right. 100%. Because, again, that's the common thing. Right. right. Another thing, and it's not on this list, but it goes along with what you're saying there, especially about cost, bidding wars, so on and so forth, is. We've been seeing a tick up in the interest rates. Oh, yes. So they are what they are right now. (coughs) We're anticipating, and all word and signs and everything that we're seeing is they're going to continue to tick up. Right. So, you know, buying a house right now is going to be able to not only help you potentially not get in those bidding wars, although, again, I'm with you. I'm not going to tell you that it's not going to happen. Right. Because the likelihood of it, maybe you just ain't bid against four or five. Right. Maybe it's you and one right. more or something. But also with those interest rates ticking up, mm-hmm. you're going to be able to save some money. Right. You should be able to if you buy now versus wait. I've seen in other parts crowded. of the country this this spring and summer that they have people, other agents have been saying they've been getting up to 15 offers. Right. Oh, yeah. On the same house. Well, if you will remember, if you will remember, Kim in here in our office went to a convention in the fall. Oh, yeah. And she came or back. Spring. spring. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I said fall. Spring. And she came back and was telling us about all these people from, again, different parts of the country. That was telling about, again, 15, 16, 18 crazy. offers. On a house. Yeah, well, I mean, you know we've been saying? seeing three and four around here. Right. So, again, the the potential of that maybe not happening. And, again, that's not because nothing's changed in the market. No. The market's still good. However, maybe, maybe there's not as many buyers that's going to be in the market this fall season for you to be able to get right. in those bidding wars with those people. So, yeah. that's another good reason here. We're talking about today the perks of purchasing a home, buying a home this fall. The first one was our tax benefits. The second one was you may not get in a multiple offer, a bidding war situation again, just because typically we know slowdowns usually do happen in the fall and the winter part of the year. It just typically happens. Why? We have no idea, but it happens. People get out of the market. So maybe that could be a benefit to you for being able to do it. Here's we got. Here's what we got for number three. With those same things being said, all right, you may have a little bit more bargaining power right now. Right. We have saw for the spring and the summer market for sure. We have saw houses again going at or above the asking price of the home. Right. So let's play a little game here. Not only have we been saying that, everybody else been saying that. It's on the news. People across the country are saying that thing. So sellers know, hey, good time to put my house on the market, probably get top dollar. Mm-hmm. So they maybe price them a little bit above. That, and that's all happening. Yeah, everybody, right? People's aggressive That's right what's going on. We yeah. understand that. Buyer, seller, everybody understands that. However, if there are homes that are out there that let's say have survived that spring and summer market, they didn't sell. Right. You know. You could potentially, because that seller thought, hey, I'm going to put this on the market and get me a quick sale, mm-hmm. get a whole lot of money, you could potentially go in right now and offer maybe a little less, a little less. than what that top dollar is because they've been trying to sell for four or five, six months right? and maybe get a little bit under asking price. So right. the third perk is you may have a little bit more bargaining power. Right. One thing, if, if, if showings and buyers slow down, mm-hmm. typically happens, they need to get that home sold. You could potentially go, and I'm not. I'm not saying go in and just Kill low yeah, ball. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? On a We're not saying that. One fifty. But again, the bargaining happen. power you have may be again closing costs could be paid, get a little off the price, home warranties. There's a lot of things right. that you could go in there and say. Maybe because it's been sitting on the market for a while, you could go in and do that. Are we telling you that that's the thing to do? Every house is different, yeah, right? Yeah. And for the 2,100 or whatever pieces of real estate that's out there listed on the market right now in that vicinity, we have no idea about a lot of Yeah, them. I was going to say, consult with a good realtor because yeah. they're going to be able to tell you, okay, yeah, this house has been on yeah, the market. It's been there a while, right. They're going to know if it's been pending, has right. it been under contract, stuff like that, and they're going to be able to help you make that offer right. to where because again like i said 
you might be able to get a little bit, bit of bargaining room, not saying, like I said, right. you're not going to get a $300,000 house for one fifty. Right. But they're going to be able to say, okay, we could probably ask for this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. And possibly Well, get it's it. kind of like I think of this house. You're not going to insult nobody. No, I think this house the other day that you called, and I won't go in numbers because I don't 100% know them, and it may be an extreme, but this house that was out there on the lake had the contract on it, so on and so oh, yeah, forth. Yeah. There was a price drop because, you know, things change. So that's what we're talking about. Right. You'll see those things like that. That bargaining power could be they needed that thing to move. So right. you got to make an adjustment. So yeah. if there are those people that are out there, maybe the sellers have a pending offer on another home contingent upon, like we talked about last mm-hmm. week, contingencies you could put in there. Contingent upon their house selling, maybe now they're ready to move a little bit. <coughs> right. Because we're now getting toward that fall, winter time of the year. They know the slowdown's coming. Right. Potentially. So that could be, again, give you more bargaining power. Absolutely. In purchasing the home that you have. So, again, we're talking about perks. We're trying to give you a little bit of information here today. Perks to purchasing a home this fall. We've went through three. We got one more. What do you got? Well, the fourth one and is a good one, I think. Right. It's it's you're going to be home for the holidays. Literally. So literally, yeah, right? Yeah, you'll be in your new home yes. for the holidays. 100%. So if you go ahead and get under contract here pretty soon, mm-hmm. you're going to be able to make it for Thanksgiving. Right. If yeah. you wait a little bit, you'll be able to make it by Christmas. Right. And what are you you're seeing this more than me cuz you're out in the field on the battleground doing a, what are you seeing your typical uh time frame? It's Again, go average. Yeah. But it takes you to close on. I'm going to say you're seeing that 30 day come a whole lot faster now. It's coming. It's, it's, coming it's a little, becoming a little, a little more bit. regular. That's what I was going to say. So, yeah. yeah. Because, again, you got to think about the same thing as far as lenders go. Mm-hmm. Spring, summer, right. lenders are getting bombarded with mm-hmm. loans. Right. Now, even they're starting to slow back a little bit. The sure. fall, they'll start slowing back a little bit. So instead of them having to work on 45 loans at one right. time, they might be working on 15. Sure. Absolutely. So potentially. So again, it just helps things to be sped up. And so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it was last fall I seen one close in 16 days. Right. Right. So. So again, you can be in your home. You know, the thing about it is you can definitely get there. Right. We were seeing uh, just here not long ago, 45, 60 plus days was your typical to get oh, in the yeah. house. Yeah, you We're kind of not seeing that right now, right? And a lot of, I think there's a lot of different things that <coughs> have played into that to help that, so on and so forth. But we're not seeing that. So you literally could be in your home for the holidays, which who wouldn't want to be that, right? New home, holidays, all of that stuff, family time, all that good things that you like to do. You could literally be in your new home. So Charlotte says, have interest rates went up or are they still low? They're actually up. From what yeah. they was. They're still historically low. They're still historically low. However, they have went up. They have went up from our 3% that we've seen just a couple of years ago, right. right? Yes. They've went up, I think we're high fours, low fives right now. Yep. And all the people who get paid to speculate on stuff are speculating that it's going to keep going, going up. It's going to tick some more. Yeah. yeah. How fast and how and when. So again, you tell people this. Now, I had a conversation just with a friend the other day about this same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that. You know, they are wanting to... There's a stink bug over there on that light. You see it? Yeah, it scared me a little bit. Anyways. um, (laughs) It looks real big because it's shadow. (laughs) Yeah, so anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Yeah, so... uh, Have a conversation. Yeah, because interest rates are, you know, climbing. Sure. And who knows where they're going to go to. Nobody knows that. Right. So he was saying, you know, uh, I'm thinking about buying a house in a month or I might be going to wait till maybe March, mm-hmm. save up a little bit more money, right. and then go in March. And right. I said, the only downfall with that is, is you don't know what interest rates are going to be. That's do. true. That's a good, so that's the a good point. So the house that you can afford right now mm-hmm. might not be the house you can afford in March. That's exactly right. Because it all comes back to the payment. Right. I don't care what it is. People, if they can make they a thousand dollar a month payment, they're going to buy a thousand dollar a month house. Right. So if you want that and you can't afford that, yeah. And, and honestly, I don't think that it's because, again, it's something that a lot of times you don't deal in, you're not familiar with. It The slightest little change is major. In the interest rate, is major. It, it can make a real big difference on your payment. Yeah, yeah. You know, what you're, again, what you're going to be, you might be pre qualified right now for that $200,000 house. Interest rates go up. That thing may kick back to 160, 165. I mean, I'm just saying it can right. it can change. Yeah, because and that controls your payment. Control the payment. That controls That's your what payment. I'm saying. All of those things that control all of that. Which again, 
fits into what you can and what you cannot afford. So right. you want to make sure, again, there are perks to going ahead and getting things done now. Fall of the year, a lot of times, a lot of people, they're moving and shaking still yet. We seem to just, again, as a, as a, as a market, as an industry as a whole, fall and summer or fall and winter, things do typically slow back. In our office, we normally don't see that. Right. I think a lot of that's because we work through the finish line, so to yeah. say. But you typically see that market-wide that that happens. Yes. So you want to be prepared for that. And we want to be the ones to give you that information. So that's why we've been talking about today with you the perks yeah. of the perks of purchasing a home this fall. There are perks to do that. Let's review them again before we take a break. The first one was the tax benefits of it, all right? There's, yeah. There are tax benefits to do that. The second one was, again, as far as the bidding wars. You may not get in the bidding wars, although it's possible to do. It yeah, all depends on the house, the location, yeah. all of that things pay it, play into that. The third one is you may have some more bargaining power. And the fourth one is you can literally be home for the holidays. We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.